Hey, what's up? Charlie here. Um, I had a question. Somebody sent me an email and asked me uh, the best ways to stream movies um, either on your computer or from your computer to your to your um, TV or on your TV whatever device that you want to use what's the best place to get the movies um, series shows you know documentaries whatever you, you know your your vice is and um, what I use the most is the first one I use a lot is, is at, at my house or even on my tablet device or on my on my phone is uh, Netflix um, it's uh, $7.99 a month um, and they give you unlimited use of a wide range of their catalog you know their movies and stuff on there there's a lot of uh, all kind of uh, movies and shows and um, you can browse hundreds and thousands of, 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 of TV series and the only thing I want to point out is with the TV series is not you will not get the latest they might be like a be a probably a season back they might hold a season back you know and, and so that's really the downfall of it when it comes to that side of it but apart from that i mean the amount of movies you get on there and surprisingly sometimes they surprise you with some pretty you know you can find some pretty good movies and you can search for the catalog and when you find a movie you can always uh, add it to your queue or you can just click and play and you can click and play from any device um, your Wii box I know does that your computer your <clears throat> Roku box your Google TV whatever device you use to stream and you can just on here you can just click choose you can add to instant queue and it, it, it put it in your queue you can you can build a queue and put it in your queue for you know easier find next time uh, what I do sometimes is when I, when I have free time I just boot up my computer I add I search for you know movies that I really want to watch so let's suppose like one of those movies a man apart I know I saw it some time ago and it came out in 2003 and if I wanted to watch it probably tonight or tomorrow over the weekend I just add it to my right here I just add it to my instant queue and it goes up in my queue and um, once you wherever else that you hook up your your Netflix when you when you hook it up you find it will come up in your in your queue you can go to your instant queue right here and if you look it should be way down at the bottom I guess it haven't updated yet but if you look in the summary it's somewhere around here and there so and this is just great for the kids i mean my kids they don't even watch um cable tv anymore because they have all their shows in there my daughter loves brats so there's seasons and seasons of brats in there there's um barney's in there i mean there's too much barney's dora diego um it, the list just goes on Hannah Montana and uh, iCarly and I mean just movies and shows and movies and shows there's enough to fill quite a lifetime of stuff there so yeah Netflix is one of my number one choice for finding movies and stuff and the next place that I I use is Hulu and really Hulu gives you the new shows so if you're watching NCSI and Fringe and Law and Order like I do um, I, on cable if you have Netflix you can again you can build a queue just like um, if you have Hulu sorry you can build a queue just like Netflix and you just program all your shows like a, like your DVR at home 
and have all your shows put in there and um, Netflix there the reason why they a step up above net Hulu plus is a step above Netflix in the sense that they give you the newer shows so for example today's date is the what uh, the 27th so last last night's show is already there on my 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 because I watch Cuba I, I watch daily show so daily show is already there um, Colbert report is already there um, I watch what, uh, what is already there Alcatraz my new show that I started watching this week I'm, I'm, I'm three weeks ago I think it was and um, the last show is already there and that's because I have Hulu Plus. I, I'm trying Hulu Plus right now. Again, it's it's seven ninety nine. And yeah, it's it's you know for that. Um, Prime Suspect. Um, this one came out on the twenty second. So uh, twenty twenty Vampire Modern. I mean, you can just program to have all your shows come on there, and most of the shows will either come in the same night that they show, or they will come in the very next day. And again, you have two choices. You can either get hulu plus or you can just get hulu hulu will just be online on your computer hulu plus you can get on different um streaming boxes like uh probably up for the ruku or some other so those other boxes that you can easily find at, at um places like fries or um even radio shack has has bad streaming boxes it's, it's very i mean there's a lot of streaming boxes out right now um only one heads up is that Hulu will not work on on any Google products like the Google Plus, like the Google TV. So just be just know that for now. Another place you can find shows. Oh, and one one more thing, Hulu also offer you a on a raise a desktop software. So that you can use, so you don't have to go to the web page. If you hooking up your laptop or your computer to your to your TV, to your HD TV, you can easily yeah, use like that's their desktop software that you can use. Yeah, thanks. And it's really easy to navigate. Um, sure, <laughs> click menu again. You have on the side here. You have your queue. I mean, you have everything on there. And if you like me, you can easily go to the store, the Radio Shack or Fry's or your nearest radio store and buy yourself probably a, a remote control. It's a Windows remote control or a Vista remote control or whatever it is. They call it now. And it's a computer remote control. And you can use it to browse. Just like you were browsing your with a, a cable box TV there so and you control everything on there you let me see you go to your most popular you go across you can choose shows like I, I'm like I'm doing right now and watch now and there you go so it's a, it's a really good um, desktop software Again, you can you can get a remote to go with it. And from there. Also, uh, another software you can use, and this one is just with with Hulu. Let me see. Sorry, another software you another desktop software you can use is your Windows Media Player. Um. If you have that that same remote, you'll see a, a, a Windows or a Media Player logo right on there. You click on it, and it will bring up your it will bring up your Windows Media Player. And within your Windows Media Player, you can also install Netflix. If you go across here, it's right here, and you can hit Netflix. And all this you'll be doing with your your remote, your Windows remote or your PC remote and take note that it's a different type of remote from 
you know. So we're back in and let's just close that Netflix and let's go back to where we were. So the next one we want to look at is Crackle and Crackle again it's you get fr and this one is absolutely free. Uh, you sign up and you get access to a whole number of um, TV TV shows and, and movies online and it's it's free except you have to sit for a certain amount of um, ads for the movie and, and it's almost the same as, as Hulu that you have to sit for a couple ads in there you know five six ads per movie it's it's is it worth it yes it is it, it is and uh, you, as you can see they have quite a list of let me see free movies uncut click on there and they have quite uh, you know a good library of movies on there um, newly added so they just added a few movies there Bad 21 Flatliners and we know all, all these are, are, are older movies so if you if you like older movies and um, then there you go Passengers The Messenger Desperado Year One I think that's a couple years old so you know you can just sit through the if, if you can stomach a few ads then you have a chance of you know you will like using crackle um what do i use for newer movies i i i use amazon for my newer movies and um with amazon i pay uh i'm a member of amazon prime and amazon prime you pay i think uh 89 dollars a year and you get access to a move their, their movie library which is free to you so a movie like um the Gil the Gil the dragon tattoo that's the original one um for me it's free for a person who is not and i can and i can stream that from anywhere on my computer or anywhere for for a person who's not a member of amazon prime that movie would you would have to rent it for 2.99 and the perk that i get with amazon prime or being an amazon prime member is that also when i'm shopping on amazon prime which is what i got i got it for in the first place is that anything i buy on amazon prime is most times 90 percent of the time and 99 percent of the time the shipping is free so i save i save a lot on shipping i bought a, i buy a lot of crap from amazon that's my number one you know shopping place it's so easy to sit down and just shop from amazon um steep job one last thing is for me is zero dollars for you for you who's not a member it's going to be 3.99 so you know and they have you know all the movies again um i don't normally watch stuff on there except once in a while i might watch a, doc a documentary on there i can get most of the stuff you can get on there you can get it on netflix so you know most times i go to netflix but i do every now and then um go to their new library and whenever a new movie come out on dvd i usually get it on there so here we go this weekend uh, or i think right now um real steel just came out and it's this it's it's 399 sometimes it drops down to 99 cents it just depends they might have a 99 cents weekend um 50 50 just came out again um, paranormal activities is out celtic women or something like crap like that yes um, and you know there's a, there's a there's a few new movies that just came out and you can get it right there so it's just run them to the red box or whatever i can just rent it there for two three nights for 399 it's you can look at it on H C H D on your TV. Um pretty good quality. Alright, so it's it it be the hassle of you know of renting a movie or going to Blockbuster or whatever you usually do and stuff. So or you have you also have the option to buy it. So this this movie there I can buy. I can buy this movie for forty ninety nine or sixty ninety nine or whatever it is. And um, what Amazon does, which is really cool, is they store it for you in your in your um, 
in your video library. So any movie you buy, so I, I buy most movies from my kids. So all these movies there, I own those movies. Alvin and the Chipmunks, um, Bobby, Bobby Nutcracker, Princess School for Bobby, um, Shrek, Ryu, all those movies there. Zookeeper, Wizard of Oz, my kids movie. I store it online, so there's no DVDs around the house. So these are my places that I get movies. That I, I mean, I get my movies and TV shows streaming. Again, it's Amazon, Crackle, Hulu, Netflix. Between those three here, your TV shows and your movies and whatever else you watch in the sense of um, uh, pictures or whatever it is, you cannot miss nothing out there. It, 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 you are pretty much covered between Netflix, which is seven ninety nine, and Amazon. If you want to be an Amazon Prime member, it's uh, I think it's eighty nine dollars a year or something like that. And I know I think there is more perks. They're gonna add more perks to the Amazon Prime being, a, being an Amazon Prime member. Um, my next video I'll do I'll show you where and how I stream, probably from my laptop or PC to my HDTV or what boxes I use in the sense of um, my Roku I use a Roku, I use a, a Xbox I use a, um, a Google, Google TVs both, I have both Google TVs so I'll do a small review on um, streaming from what instrument do I use to stream this is Charlie, check it out See you later.